In today's video, I turned every first round pick from the 2023 NFL Draft into a 99 overall in Madden 24. Every team hopes that this can be a reality eventually. That's why they drafted him so high. So today we're going to see what happens if we just fast forward the process and make all the dreams come true for every single one of these franchises and their first round picks. But first, we have a few super chats. At Bonnie Biggs says AFC and NFC East and South versus AFC. NFC and NFC West and North. Now we've already done a couple videos like that on the channel. I'll go ahead and leave links to them in the description. Appreciate the donation. He also says highest jersey number at every position. For example, Josh Allen, quarterback, Ryan Tannehill, backup, Devontae Adams, wide receiver one, and so on. Now that one's a little confusing to me because if you mean highest jersey at every position, for wide receivers, it would be like 89, for example. So yeah, and quarterback would be like Teddy Bridgewater because I think he's wearing number 50. So not really sure what you're asking for that one but still i appreciate the donations and then at will hutton 1516 says can a team of fifth round and later picks aka day three picks of all time win the super bowl now we've done a team of fifth round picks i'll leave a link to that one in the description as well i appreciate the donations though also huge thanks to trc frosty for becoming a level two member here at the bird's nest appreciate all the members now let's get to the video first overall pick bryce young is now a 99 overall with x factor cj stroud also a 99 overall now. They have two brand new 99s, Will Anderson Jr. being the other one. The Colts have another superstar at quarterback, Anthony Richardson, 99 overall. Devin Witherspoon on Seattle, now a 99 overall. The Cardinals get a 99 overall right tackle, Paris Johnson Jr. Old linemen were given superstar, everyone else was given X Factor. The Raiders now have someone opposite of Max Crosby, that's a 99 overall, Tyree Wilson, scariest running back to play against in the league, might be an ATL. B. John Robinson, 99 overall. Good luck running against this Philadelphia Eagle. Jalen Carter, 99 overall. Now, if you said you like in the video would make me very happy right now, you would be right. Darnell is now a 99 overall. Right tackle for Chicago. The Titans have a 99 overall left guard. Peter Skaronski. Another nightmare in the open field. Resides in Detroit at running back 99 overall Jameer Gibbs Lucas Van Ness 99 overall outside linebacker for Green Bay Pittsburgh gets a 99 overall left tackle on Broderick Jones Jets D line is looking extremely scary now they have a 99 overall Will McDonald the fourth the commanders have a new CB1 Emmanuel Forbes 99 good things happen in New England when they have an elite CB1 so Christian Gonzalez Gonzalez being a 99 should help their Super Bowl chances. Jack Campbell now a 99 overall, manning down the middle for the Lions. That front seven in Tampa Bay is getting stronger. 99 overall, Kaliza can't see at left end. Geno's gonna put up some nasty numbers with three plus 89 overall wide receivers, and one of them, Jackson Smith and Jigba, being a 99. Same thing with Herbert in Los Angeles. They have three 88 plus overall wide receivers. Quentin Johnson now a 99. All of a sudden, the receiving core in Baltimore is looking dangerous. Zay Flowers up to a 99. But there's only one team in this experiment that's gonna have not one, but two 99 overall wide receivers. The Minnesota Vikings, who now have Jordan Addison at a max overall. Luckily for the G-Men, they have a CB1 that's a 99-2. Deontay Banks on to Buffalo, looking at their 99 overall tight end, Dalton King. Kincaid. At D tackle for Dallas, you now have a 99 overall Mazzy Smith. The Jaguars now have a 99 overall left tackle protecting the Prince. Anton Harrison. The Bengals pass rush gets even better. 99 overall Miles Murphy at left end. You can't spell this man's last name without the Saints best quarterback in franchise history, Brees. So you know it was a great pick for New Orleans. Brian Breesy. 99 overall D tackle. Nolan Smith Jr., the speedster in Philadelphia, up to a 99. And finally, even the rich get richer. Felix and Adike Uzoma, 99 overall right end for Kansas City. Almost every single team added a 99 in this experiment. Which rookie is going to step in day one and help their team go all the way? Only one way to find out. Let's sim and see what their stats look like at the end of the season. Dallas with a 99, Mazzy Smith end up the one seed in the NFC. 
Eagles end up second. Lions, Falcons, Seahawks, Panthers, and Vikings all make it. Breezy couldn't help the Saints get to the playoffs. Van Ness couldn't help the Packers. Forbes on the Commanders missed out. Meanwhile, in the AFC, Zay Flowers and the Ravens get the one seed. Chiefs end up second. Dolphins, Bills, Colts, Texans, and Raiders all make it to the playoffs. Some really good teams end up missing out. Bengals, Chargers, Jaguars, Jets. AFC is loaded. Taking a look at all the rookie stats, man. Bryce Young, pretty solid season. CJ Stroud, nice season. 22 touchdowns, only six picks. Well, Anderson leads the Texans with 10 sacks, had 16 tags for a loss. Nasty rookie season. Richardson, only two picks on the season. 24 touchdowns, phenomenal ratio. Witherspoon had the second most interceptions on Seattle with two. Also had five tags for a loss, 73 tackles. Harris Johnson only gave up two sacks on 1,073 downs played. Tied for the best on his team. Tyree Wilson was second on the Raiders with 12 and a half sacks. Also had 13 tags for a loss. Bijan was 10 yards shy of 1,900. Averaged six and a half yards a carry. 15 rushing touchdowns. Also added three more through the air along with 27 receptions and 363 receiving yards. 2,000 plus all-purpose yards for the young rookie. Jalen Carter leads the Eagles with 10 sacks. Nolan Smith Jr. right behind him with eight and a half. He also added an interception. They combined for close to 40 tackles for a loss. Darnell Wright gives up 10 sacks and over 1,050 downs played. Goronsky has a great season. Only two sacks allowed and over 1,100 downs played. 1,600 yards for Jameer Gibbs. 6.2 yards a carry. 13 rushing touchdowns. He added one more through the air. 38 receptions and 416 receiving yards. Another guy with 2,000 plus all-purpose yards. 16 and a half sacks for Lucas Van Ness, the highest we've seen so far from a rookie. 18 tacks for a loss. Over 100 tackles. 13 sacks allowed for Broderick Jones. Will McDonald the fourth had four sacks. Very fitting. Also had 17 tackles for a loss to lead the Jets. Emmanuel Forbes with five interceptions. Highest we've seen so far from these first round picks. He also added a sack and 71 tackles. Gonzalez tied for the most INTs on the Patriots. He had a tackle for a loss and 80 tackles. Jack Campbell had two sacks, seven tackles for a loss, and 121 tackles to lead the Lions. Kalijah Kansi, 17 and a half sacks, most we've seen so far from any first rounder. Also added 20 tackles for a loss and 87 tackles. Jackson Smith and Jigba, 1,200 yards receiving, 82 receptions, 15 receiving touchdowns, nasty season. Quentin Johnston, 1,100 yards on 77 receptions, also had 14 receiving touchdowns. Zay Flowers with nine receiving touchdowns to lead the Ravens. 673 receiving yards on 52 receptions. All top three in Baltimore. Addison had the second most receptions for the Vikings. Third most receiving yards with 945 and then he added three receiving touchdowns. Deontay Banks has two INTs tied for the second most on the Giants. A tackle for a loss and 64 tackles to go along with it. Dalton Kincaid finishes top four in Buffalo in receiving yards and receptions top three in receiving touchdowns with six mazzy smith with a nice season six and a half sacks 15 tackles for a loss 55 tackles anton harrison allows seven sacks on the season miles murphy leads the Bengals with nine sacks also had the most tackles for a loss with 18 brian brees he had by far the most sacks for the saints with 11 he added 16 tackles for a loss 79 tackles and then felix and adike uzoma had 16 and a half sacks for the chiefs 20 tackles for a loss and 71 tackles i'm gonna scroll through the league leaders in terms of every stat category man here's how they stack up you can see where the rookies are uh you know aligned in terms of the entire league bryce young really really high up there man he had himself a great season richardson had a great ratio Bijan led the entire league in rushing yards gibbs was in the top 10 pollard had the most rushing touchdowns but there's Bijan once again man these rookies at the max overall definitely came to play cd had the most receiving yards in the league smith and jigba i think he's in the top 10 if not hovering right around the top 10 then you have quentin johnston in the top 20 as well most touchdowns smith and jigba ties with scary terry mclaurin 15 to lead the entire league and when it comes to receptions you had a lot of veterans up there man smith and jigba though he finished the highest in terms of all first round picks addison was right there on defense you have jermaine pratt leading the way in terms of tackling 
Parsons had the most sacks, but look at Kalijah Kansi and Felix and Adike Uzoma, not to mention Lucas Van Ness and Tyree Wilson, all in the top 10. Breesy in the top 15 to 20. Same with Will Anderson and Jalen Carter. Five picks for Forbes, ties for the most in the entire league. Nasty season by these first rounders once again. MVP goes to Dak Prescott. Anthony Richardson finishes in the top five. Bryce Young finishes in the top 10. OPOI goes to Jacobs in the AFC. DPOI goes to Crosby. Donald takes it in the NFC. And Bijan wins OPOI. He also wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. Kalijah gets Defense Rookie of the Year. In the AFC, it goes to Anadike Uzoma. And Richardson gets Offensive Rookie of the Year. Simmons straight to the Super Bowl. Which first round pick at a max overall is going to help their team hoist the Lombardi? Barty. We have Mazzy Smith and the one seed Dallas Cowboys taking on Zay Flowers and the one seed Baltimore Ravens. Gotta watch the first drive from each of these offenses. None of our first round picks that we made 99 overall are currently on the field. They will be when these teams switch sides. But as of right now, it's the Cowboys offense. Pollard getting a nice gain. Third down and two. Can the Ravens force a quick three and now Humphrey lined up against CD, but that's the only wide receiver in the game. Two tight ends said and Dak is still gonna pass the ball he's gonna find his receiver for the first down they're at midfield right now pretty good drive going they need probably another first down or so to put themselves in field goal range good protection from this Cowboys O-line Gallup gets them inside the 30 it'd be a nice stop for the Ravens if they can hold them to three all kinds of time to throw it he's gonna throw it out of bounds and they're gonna settle for the field goal now we get to see the first rounders who are 99 overall Mazzy Smith Smith lined up on top of the right guard. Parsons getting a tackle for a loss on the first play. And there's a flag holding on the Ravens. Tough start for Baltimore. Second and 19. Can they get any type of yardage and make it a manageable third down? Lamar with the play action. Gonna find his receiver. Zay Flowers picking up a nice gain. Making plays in the open field already. And they keep the chains moving though. Third down and two. Hand off Dobbins with the spin move. But he gets tackled for a loss. So Dallas has the nice start in this one. They get off to a 10-0 lead. 17-0. Finally, the Ravens strike right before halftime. 17-10. Wait a minute. Tie game. This is all we wanted. A very close Super Bowl. Baltimore with the ball. You might want to just run the ball and stay in field goal range. Okay, the screen also works. Dobbins gets the first. Third down and seven. Baltimore can get the first down without scoring a touchdown and bleed the rest of the clock. Let's see if they do. No, good tackle by LVE. Tucker's gonna kick the go-ahead field goal. Dallas is still gonna have some time left on the clock. Last play of the game. Cowboys need a miracle. Here comes the blitz by the Ravens. Dak just gonna let it fly. Incomplete pass. And Zay Flowers was the difference maker in this experiment. Good things happen when you give Lamar a great wide receiver core. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you on the next one.